Twinkie and the Brain, a Twinkie and the Brain. One is a genius, the other's insane. Oh. What's up, guys? This is Webby. Back again for a huge podcast for you involving the Beast, Brock Lesnar, and the Roman Empire, Roman Reigns. Sorry about that pinky in the brain thing. Got my new pinky in the brain shirt. That was an awesome cartoon when I was growing up. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Yes. Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. WWE is actually going through with this disaster. They're going to be face-to-face -face this coming Monday. And according to the Wrestling Observer, Cage Side Seats, amongst other uh, wrestling websites... The WWE could be handing over the championship to Roman Reigns at the end of SummerSlam. We're going to be going over that today. And we're also going to be going over some difficulties they're having with that decision. And with the matchup today as well. But first, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for following me on Facebook and Twitter at 2007Webby. And if you are not yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for all notifications. It is much appreciated for joining me right here on this journey on YouTube. A lot of hard work and fun goes into this channel for you wrestling fans next tuesday this coming tuesday i will have my two-year anniversary right here on youtube july 31st 2016 is when i first started doing videos podcasts for you wrestling fans right here on youtube on this podcast on this video that i'll be making I will have the Bailey Buddies, I will have my brother Andrew, I'll have Andy Cool, Jason Funny, all of them will be here, hopefully David Awesome comes, my mom, everybody that has helped me make the channel what it is today for you wrestling fans, I am going to try to have them on a huge podcast for you, plus the Smackdown Live review as well, this coming Tuesday, right here on the channel, tune in for that. It will be much appreciated. But now, the Universal Championship at SummerSlam. Something that they are calling the biggest party of the summer. The biggest event of the summer. WWE always spins it that way each and every year. Quite frankly, you know, this SummerSlam kind of uh, strikes me as of... Uh, Wrestlemania uh, from this year, honestly, because they gave us Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar in the main event, something we didn't want to see, and they gave us Shinsuke Nakamura and uh, AJ Styles for the WWE Championship, something we did want to see. SummerSlam, we're seeing a match that we've all wanted to see in the WWE. Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles. And we're seeing a main event contest that we are absolutely all cringing on. Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar again for the third time in one year. So, with that being said, WWE, according to rumors, Wrestling Observer, all those websites that you can go to, are thinking about actually pulling the trigger and giving it to Roman Reigns at the end of SummerSlam. Can you imagine how much of a disaster that will be in the Barclays Center August 19th? You think SummerSlam was... No, not SummerSlam. You think WrestleMania was bad. The Barclays Center. A smaller venue... With eighteen or twenty thousand people, 
in one venue, all having beach ball slam, all having uh, uh, epic booze chanting CM Punk, chanting Dean Ambrose, chanting You Can't Wrestle, all different types of stuff. That's what's going to happen at SummerSlam, number one. Number two, if Roman Reigns walks out, the winner, and nothing happens, no cash-in, no uh, uh, makes a triple threat matchup uh, uh, before SummerSlam, nothing of that nature, and then like, uh, I don't know, Braun Strowman, let's say, makes a, a triple threat matchup after he beats Kevin Owens. What in the world are they doing? They're setting it up for an epic failure. They are setting it up where Braun Strowman has to cash in. Because I don't see Kevin Owens uh, walking out victorious at SummerSlam. I don't. Kevin Owens is going to be there to make Braun Strowman look good. And Braun Strowman needs to be the Universal Champion. Walking out of SummerSlam. There's just no doubt in my mind. WWE. You need to pull the trigger on Braun Strowman now. You know. How many steps forward. Can you make a superstar take. And then make him take that many steps back. Before the fans. Ultimately, you just don't care about the superstar anymore. Now, right now, the fans absolutely love Braun Strowman. Get these hands! Get these hands! Get these hands! Get these hands! But, how long do you think it's going to last if you rip the, the briefcase off of him... And uh, 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 don't let him get the Universal Championship. You know, I read a report saying that, uh, uh, well, they might give the briefcase to Kevin Owens because, quite frankly, the briefcase needs to be on a hill. And it makes more sense. Yeah, majority of the time briefcases have been on hills. But it's okay being on a baby face. Now... I do understand the point that Braun Strowman does not need the uh, uh, briefcase because of how awesome and big he is, but that's beside the point. But whatever the case, WWE is setting themselves up for one epic disaster at SummerSlam, August 19th. If they let Roman Reigns walk out of the Barclays Center, the Universal Champion. There's no doubt in my mind. And anyone else's mind. That Brock Lesnar. Is dropping. That championship. The question is. Who. Is he dropping it to. And at this point in time. It does not need to be. Roman Reigns. You want the fans to be more receptive of him getting the championship. Don't let him get the title from a big, huge star again. Because he's already beaten Undertaker, Triple H. He's had his main events with Brock Lesnar. He doesn't need to beat him. But you all let me know what you're thinking in the comments below about this podcast. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments below about what I've said. And if you agree with me or not in the comments below. And until I see you again, this is Webby and I'll catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.